මේ අවුරුදු දෙක ඇතුළත 2019 අප්‍රේල් 21 කින් පස්සේ අපි ජීවිතේ සම්පූර්ණ වෙනස් වුණා මට හිටි එකම දුවයි පුතයි දුවට අවුරුදු 22යි පුතාට අවුරුදු 19යි දෙන්නටම එක මාසේ එක්සෑම් එක තිබුණේ ඒ හින්ද කොච්චි කඩේ පල්ලියට ගිහිල්ලා ඒ විභාග දෙකට ආශිර්වාද ලබා ගන්න තමයි ගියේ on easter sunday of 2019 sri lanka mourned as nine suicide bombers detonated their devices at three catholic churches in kochikade nigambo and batiklo and at three luxury hotels in kalambo we all had to face the consequences of the bombings together as one but even today the pain and suffering borne by our catholic community is unimaginable mage jeevitheda mama me e wachanema kiyana nan මෝචරියකට යන්න අපි කවදාවත් හීනෙන්වත් හිතන්නේ නැහැ. එතනට යද්දි මම ඉස්සලාම දැක්කේ මිනිස්සු එලිය ආඬනවා. මිනිස්සු එලිය ආඬනවත් එක්කම මේ සමහර මිනිස්සු කෑ ගහනවා. තමන්ගේ ළමයව ඒ වෙලාව හොයා ගන්න බැරුව ඉන්නවා. තමන්ගේ සහෝදරිය ඒ වෙලාව හොයා ගන්න බැරුව ඉන්නවා. ඒ වෙද්දි මම ලොකු ස්ක්‍රීන් එකක් දැක්කා. එක එක කකුලක්, එක එක ඇඟක්, එක එක ඔළුවක් විතරක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. එතන ඉන්නවා මේ ඒ වෙලාවේ සිද්ධියට මූණ පාපු ඒ අදාළ කෙනාගේ කවුරු හරි නෑ දැ හිතු මිතුරේ කෙලිය ඉන්නවා ඒ ඩොක්ටර් පෙන්නනවා ස්ක්‍රීන් එකේ දාලා මෙයාද මෙයාද කියලා ලොකු පින්තූර ගොඩක් මිනිස්සු වැලපි වැලපි අඬ අඬ හොයනවා තමන්ගේ එක්කෙනා කවුද මේ මේ දුවද පුතා දෙන්නේ කියලා ඒ වෙලාවේ මුළු මූණවල්ම පිච්චිලා කකුලකින් කොහොමද මිනිස්සු එක්ක අඳුර ගන්නේ It requires enormous strength to witness your loved ones and community members being reduced to ashes and still continue on with your life the unwavering faith that they bestow upon their religion and its teachings has remained a cornerstone of this unparalleled resolve at least uh, a single person uh, did not go away from the church by looking at this tragedy uh, more than in the past even uh, during the last uh, uh, easter season also i observed uh, many people came to our churches it means their faith was strengthened mama upatimma bauddha e unata apita kristiyani aagama ekka tibicha vishwase ekak ape rate aagamane apita eka nathi une ne eka man hitanne me pasku praharen passe wedi una wenna puluwan apita kaadinal tuma demaupi ek wage me anith fathers la apita sahodare wage hama welema apita yana balanawa ape gedatta ewanawa vaidya oru ewanawa මේකලන්ගේ මානසිකත්වය බලන්න මොකද්ද කියලා අපිට ආගම සම්බන්ධව කිසිම මෙතන එහෙම එකක් නැහැ එහෙමනම් අපේ ළමයි දෙන්න ආශිර්වාද ලබා ගන්න කොච්චි කඩි පල්ලියට යන්න නැහැනේ the empathy compassion and benevolence of the catholic community members have acted as another pillar of strength to those who were affected by this tragic event the community has come together as one and with the guidance of the cardinal has strategically laid out a program that covers all areas of support and assistance we want to rehabilitate these affected people uh, especially uh, those people uh, whose loved ones were uh, were killed you know? so this uh, rehabilitation work uh, was divided into three main uh, sectors Uh, the first thing is uh, psychological uh, category for that uh, we organize traumatic counseling so we want to uplift their uh, mentality and to we want to lead them to do their usual work and usual we want to lead them uh, towards their usual lives you know? the second one is uh, spiritual upliftment spiritual healing people asked uh, is there a god if god is there how can this uh, happen there is a god and god is protecting you always and god loves you so much we want to inculcate this idea in their minds and hearts and the third one is uh, materially uh, we want to uplift their uh, lifestyle again because uh, uh, some people were living in uh, rented houses and uh, they are breadwinner Uh, now no more uh, their father or mother is dead now so how can uh, they live without uh, uh, 
uh, without their mother, without their father and without uh, financial support. So uh, we want to support them financially. Regardless of religion, race, sexual orientation and gender, at the end of the day, we are all human. The Muslim community of which many were falsely accused has also been tirelessly working towards uplifting the Catholic community. At that time I was in Mathura, so um, we walked in, we were in fear, uh, they were trying to question me, arrest me and all that. The suspicion was continuing, so it was a very bad impact for my family. Our faith is the main factor which binds us. So our faith was put in question. There was a news spread out, the faith encourages killing people. So that impacted every Muslim. And then at that period, there was a lot of suspicion amongst the citizens. They thought everyone, every Muslim is carrying a bomb. We have been having a very cordial relationship with Christian community because our religion and Christianity is very close. Our civil society, our businessmen and our organization, we collected large amount of funds and we donated through Catholic Church. There is these uh, uh, youngsters together like you know Easter survivors and they are working with the counselling part of it and all that. Even my wife was a part of that group working with them in counselling and talking to them about Easter survivors. And the hospitable quality that us Sri Lankans are known for has truly come to light after the Easter bombings. <laughs> Samara Kamala Katakala Dino, Magime Padgala at the Kim Ogulankaman Bedagane, Samara Kamala Katakala Kino, Miss Matame, Vadikiti Adar Hambine, Matam Rupiasi Ati, the Enamang Eka, the Anata, the Amata Command and the Gila, Mami Kianaka, the Renova, the Dana, Yata, Yadankaranathi, and Ekamu Buddha, Idan. The Hema may hit the Atule, Vedanava Kati Vichiminisu, Dripatu, Chiminisu, Anantapramana, Tamatina. The church and all communities continue to work towards further uplifting those in need. Two years of rehabilitation has brought much positivity and development into their lives. But there's still a long way to go. The only support that they seek today is from the authorities to bring justice to the loved ones that they had to let go of in such a tragic manner and implement protocols to prevent these unfortunate incidents from repeating. In true Sri Lankan spirit, let us be a voice for the voiceless. By continuing to support the affected communities and uplift each other in order to work towards building a safer, more secure country for all of us to live in.